This is Twit. I'm very proud of my guests tonight here at first. They're from our Springfield, Missouri club. And they have really, really got things rocking and rolling. And since they're on Route 66, well, hey, this is the big deal. So we're very excited that they're joining us. So we have, uh, we have Patty and we have Jordan and we have Steve. And uh, Jordan, that, that your shop is, I'm just, I'm so jealous. Look at this, I'm telling you. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what you've been doing, though, how Route 66 is doing, and really a little bit about what the club is doing. Uh, it's all yours for a little. Well, you know, we appreciate uh, having us on here. Uh, we've been doing a lot of stuff with the club lately. Route 66 on the air, obviously, has taken off in a huge way. We've been out at the Gay Parita station here, uh, just off, uh, or just on the old uh, Route 66. We uh, spent all weekend, Saturday and Sunday, doing contacts and stuff like that. There got uh, just over 300 contacts logged in for Whiskey Six Romeo. And, uh, of course, we came in here and started working from home. And, uh, man, we've just it's just been a big year all around. We're, uh, we're looking to get up there and get more contacts than we ever have and be able to teach more people about what Route 66, Route 66 on the air is and what we're doing on the radio. So it's been, been fantastic. But... As you mentioned, the club also has been doing a lot of stuff too. So not only Route 66 on the air, which uh, Steve has hit up with uh, Patty here, but we've been doing a lot of stuff within the club. Obviously, uh, we talked earlier about uh, doing tech days. We do every quarter here with the uh, tools of uh, destruction behind us on there. We uh, get all the club members and people from Southwest Missouri area to here and uh, kind of teach them how to take the radios apart, what they can do, teach them about the component level stuff and all that. So it's been very exciting. That's just been a a through the roof event. In fact, local news was here for the first one and uh, it's uh, it's taken off in a big way. So we've been doing a lot of stuff. Field day was good this year, a little hot, but uh, overall Southwest Missouri Amateur Radio Club is uh, is really getting up in there and really putting on a lot of stuff. It's uh, making those dues that the members pay really worth it for all the activities that we're doing. So it's uh, nice. very exciting. You can see our, yeah, our website up there. It's a complete redo from what it uh, used to be. Uh, we had a good one up, had a lot of information on it, but uh, people wanted more. They wanted more information. They wanted it easier to get to and uh, better formatting. So we redid the whole thing. You've got information. That's a picture from Tech Day up there. You can see we've got a bunch of stuff on the bench there. Uh, people come out with their chairs, and uh, that's just that little nook area where we really do some of the work up there. There's probably another 20 people behind that. So it's a big event for a, an oversized two-car garage, but we make it work. So Well, that's, but, uh, that's really really good to hear that uh, you guys and gals are making some things happen there and from the club you have some pictures of the route 66 day uh, uh, let's run those uh, Vic, and let them tell them uh, tell us what's going on here they're fabulous pictures yeah this is the old route 66 road in front of the gay parita sinclair station and now uh, that uh, it, it is in the Springfield area, so it's just west of Springfield, and this is the actual old route, uh, and that's that's on the road up front. It's, uh, it's part of the field. Uh, we were in this pavilion, and uh, uh, George and Barbara were really generous uh, with us. They, they really gave us a lot of things, a lot of help. Um, this is... Uh, also in the pavilion, that is Franklin and Tom, and uh, they're working the Route 66 station. Uh, this is uh, Russ and Cheryl, and uh, Russ is actually uh, responsible for Linux and the Hamshack podcast. So uh, that's his uh, partner there that's helping out with logging, and uh, they made a bunch of nice contacts for us. And uh, we also had some visitors on the route, which were actually travelers from Michigan. Uh, they were working the, right, the Route 66 on the air mobile. And uh, that is Pat, uh, let me get their call sign so I can tell you correctly. Uh, Pat, uh, W8PMR, and Wendy, KD8IWB. And they both made some contacts for us. I think they were really surprised that we would offer, but hey, they were there and they weren't doing so well on mobile, so we gave them a chance to to uh, get on and find out what a real pileup's all about. <laughs> and uh, there's Jordan and Franklin again, and uh, I think 
We said uh, somewhere in the background, you see a little brown thing. That's the base of our antenna. We had a vertical up, which worked very well for the event. And luckily, we only had temperatures in the mid 90s. We didn't actually get to 100. Oh, good. So. And there's there the, the stick. Yeah. There were about 300 visitors that rolled through on motorcycles at various times during the day. Uh, there were Germans, there were Swedish people, there were Koreans, uh, uh, there was a guy from Switzerland, and they were all gung-ho for Route 66. We only met one traveling ham operator, and unfortunately his Spanish and my English didn't mix very well, but we <laughs> did call something. <laughs> He knew the phonetics, so we were good there. <laughs> well, uh, this, those are just such great things, and that station is really cool. Now, uh, let me ask you this, Steve. Can you go in there and get gas for 15 cents? <laughs> no. Nope. And, in fact, there's down the road about a mile and a half, there's another station, and they're also uh, in the gas war, and they are at 12 cents. So the Gay Parita station is losing the war. <laughs> well, we've got uh, we've got some things that uh, you'll be wanting to uh, get uh, by working W6R. Uh, this is one of the uh, uh, of the QSLs, and that's an actual Route 66 motel, and it's beautiful. It's uh, they've kept it up all these decades. And the Rest Haven Court is, uh, it's quite a thing in uh, Springfield. So if you ever get to Springfield, you'll want to stay here. Uh, there are several, uh, several others. This is the other one. Elvis stayed at this one. <laughs> I think you took that picture, I think, Steve. But uh, yeah. Yeah. that's they've got, the real uh, Haven, Best Western at St. Louis Street and Glenstone in Springfield. Right in the heart of it. And they have two 55 Fords that sit out there all the time. So those are the QSL cards that you will get. All that information is uh, on the uh, QRZ. Just put W6R and you'll have all of the information of where to send your uh, your contact for a QSL card. And we're very thrilled that uh, the SMRC Club takes care of all that. Now, there are the frequencies that everybody's kind of working around, but they're not necessarily stuck there because uh, people move around because they fill them up. But most of the 66s, uh, you'll notice there's 3866 and there's uh, 7266 and so on. But uh, it, it is just one of the most fun things uh, in amateur radio. I've been working it for years, and when I finally uh, moved to Springfield and we weren't on the I said, what are you guys talking about? This is where Route 66 was born, right here. And uh, we can take you to the building where the telegraph was signed. But anyway, uh, it's been fun. They finally uh, find a spot for us, and uh, everybody in the club really gets involved here. So I thank you so very much, uh, for doing all this, uh, Patty and Steve and Jordan, and we'll have to have you come back after all of it and give us some totals and see what's going on. Uh, you're going to be on right after the show, though. We can catch you somewhere. Yeah, we're going to most likely be on uh, 80 meters, uh, 3866, or uh, plus or minus 10 uh, kilohertz there. So uh, absolutely, if you want to catch W6R, get on. We're going to be on 80 meters tonight. We're going to be working all through the week and the weekend. If you have any information about that or any of the other Road 66 stuff here in Springfield, go to our website, smarc.org, smart.org, uh, over there on the uh, um, tab. I forgot what the tab is called uh, up at the top of there. Anyway, you'll see Route 66 on the air. There's a lot of good information. There you go, resources yeah. tab. Under the resources yeah. tab, there's a whole heading there. It's got a lot of the history of what's going on and – a nice new feature we just added today is now you can see all the clubs along uh, the Route 66 uh, stations, all the W6 stations working, including who they are, where they're from, a link to their website, and uh, any local repeaters that they may have if you want to try to catch and uh, work at W6 station right there on 2 meters or 440. That was oh, a request by, by Wendy who wanted, because they were hams who were actually traveling the route, they wanted a list of repeaters of, of the sponsoring clubs. And so that, that was what we came up with. So 
Well, job is well done. Just well done. Thanks a lot, guys and gals. I'll, I'll be back next week and I'll come down and we'll see what we can do and burn a little solder and whatever. I might have a broken radio. <laughs> so thanks so much for doing this and setting this up. And uh, we'll, we'll have you back and let, let us know how you did in all of this. Thanks very much, 7-3, to each of you and everybody in the club there. Thanks Thank for you, 73, Bob.